Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Black Series action figure review. So I'm looking at a first sample for me of the new packaging for the Star Wars The Black Series line. Uh, they've recently just gone into their fourth phase, um, which is a really nice change. Um, and I want to give thanks to uh, goodiestoys.com.au um, for hooking me up with this figure. Um, I do have the I do have the uh, vintage carded style one, um, which I have reviewed, and I was a little bit uh, disappointed with the look look of the head sculpt. It was a uh, it was my painting defects on the figure I got, but this one looks to be pretty good. So I'm going to give it a re-review. Um, and uh, maybe maybe give it a little bit more fairer judgment than I did the first time because I do really really like this figure. I actually did a head swap with my first version. Um, but if you're watching this not long after I record, uh, goodiestoys.com.au, he has these up for pre-order. The wave that this is part of uh, for thirty four ninety five Australian, um, which is a really good price can, compared to Zing Pop Culture, who's just bumped this up from forty to forty five. Um, so definitely go over there and pre-order. He will have them in stock in the next week or two. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really looking digging this packaging. I love the color scheme. Uh, the blue looks great for Empire. Nice artwork on the side. That looks good. Here's uh, number two. And I believe they're all numbered per film. So uh, the Darth Vader that I just reviewed um, will be coming out of this packaging and I believe he's number one so very much looking forward to the future of this series um, some cool figures coming so let's take a closer look a better look at this Luke Skywalker in Hoth gear alright here we are with the Luke Skywalker in his snowspeeder outfit I did say Hoth gear a minute ago please don't comment below I, I, I've fixed it alright um, <laughs> Now, thank you to, again to goodiestoys.com.au for hooking me up with this figure for a review. Um, I'll put links in the comments below uh, so you can find him on online and on his eBay site as well because he does sell some more stuff on eBay. Um, so definitely go and check him out. Pre-orders are up all the time. He's, he's really on the ball with this stuff, so I'm really, really excited. Now, my first initial review of this figure was quite unfavorable because the paint apps on Luke's face were way off. But I think this is looking a lot better. If it wants to focus a little bit. Yeah, much more even. His eyes are where his eyes should be. Everything's where it should be. This is much better. Um, I did end up doing a head swap with my other one um, with a spare Bespin Luke head, the new Bespin Luke head. So he's a good looking figure. I've got a helmetless one uh, and, and this one as well. So it's a, it's a, it's a really good figure. I'm really into this. Um, Hoping this paves the way for more Snowspeeder pilots. Obviously, Dak Rolter is coming with the Snowspeeder. Um, is included, but we can get a Wedge, Jansen, Hobby. That'd be sweet. Yeah, just, just loving it. We'll get a look at the helmet. So, seeing a few battles since, since Yavin. It's looking good. The one problem this figure does have with the helmet is that his collar here does get in the way a little bit, particularly for articulation purposes. Um, yeah, it just stops the sides from really tucking in there. otherwise it fits pretty well what I might do actually is uh, dunk it in some really hot water so it's got a little bit of flex to it pop it on pinch it tight get it snug get it fitting really well and see how that sits let it cool down 
and then it should be a perfect fit. So again, he's got his lightsaber, detachable blade, of course, as is the norm now. But uh, yeah, as I stated previously, if you saw my last review um, on this figure, uh, Snowspeeder Luke is one of my favorite Luke outfits. I had the Power of the Force one as a kid, the Power of the Force 2 Snowspeeder Luke as a kid, and for the longest time, I just wanted a Snowspeeder Luke with his helmet off um, and didn't get that for quite a few years and now that I've got like a definitive snow speeder look uh, that can have a removable helmet is just my favorite thing ever I just there's something about the x-wing pilot snow speeder pilot the outfits that bright orange whites blacks with the gloves uh, for the x-wing pilots and the grays and the sort of snow moccasins for the boots um, there's just something about it and uh, Andrew from Goodies Toys actually told me about these straps and what they're originally used for um, back in the back in the the wars for pilots, um, which is really interesting. What you do is you strap and strap strap them up tight, and it stops the uh, blood from surging from one end of your body to the other. Um, it just sort of holds your circulation where it should be when you're going through different forces of uh, G forces, I suppose. Um, I think that's the best way I can say it. He was a lot more articulate the way he told me. Um, but yeah, I'm just absolutely in love with this figure. I really am. I'm so stoked to have a really good version of him now. Because um, my first one was a little disappointing, like I said. Um, just because those face paint apps weren't up to scratch. But uh, I'm, I'm really over the moon now. So thanks again to Goodies Toys for this one. You're an absolute champion. Um, go and buy some toys from him <laughs> hit the links in my description below any thoughts feedback comments drop them in the drop them in the comment section below uh, like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, hit the notification bell so you get all my reviews and videos and stuff up as soon as possible I've got some cool things coming in the near future some more reviews coming up and uh, stay tuned for some cool Star Wars content until then, may the force be with you, always.